it's 3 a.m. and she just texts you, hey, you up? <laughs> so you about to slide through, but it's raining outside. So here's everything you need to know about thunderstorms because you can't stop the rain. Let go. Boom. So check it. Let's talk about the three ingredients for a thunderstorm and the three stages of a thunderstorm. As you can see, things are in groups of three. Think about the word thunderstorm. Three syllables, it's three ingredients that are involved that need to happen for the form of thunderstorm, and then there's three different stages of a thunderstorm. So that's how you can easily remember that everything is in groups of three. Let's get to it. Let go. The number one ingredient for a thunderstorm to form is moisture. That's why you see often the times a lot of thunderstorms forming in or near the ocean areas. This is where it really happens a lot, significantly because it has the number one ingredient sitting right there water in the ocean but not just any water even like that warm water has a tendency to cause the things to formulate a lot more significantly ever think about it like this if you think about the east coast in florida thunderstorms tend to form there way more so than say southern california even though they're both on that same latitude striking across the united states why do, do storms form more in florida than they do in southern california it's because southern california is in that cold water environment in the pacific and the warm water environment of the Atlantic is influencing a lot of the thunderstorms that happen on the east, particularly in that Florida kind of area and going up the coast. That nice warm water, remember, heat rises. So as that warm water and that warm air gets into the, into the atmosphere, that can be the number one ingredient that's needed to cause a thunderstorm. The second ingredient, if we're making our thunderstorm and we got the moisture, we put that into the pot, we need some more ingredients. We need two more ingredients. That next one up on the list is unstable air. If you have that unstable air, and all this simply means is that the air is so unstable that if it gets nudged in a certain direction, if that moist, warm air starts to flow, it's going to keep going. If it gets, gets, gets pushed a little bit across the edge, it just keeps going and keep flowing and keep flowing because the air is unstable. It isn't going to stabilize itself. It's just going to keep moving in that direction. That is also the second ingredient that's needed for a thunderstorm to form. The last ingredient that's needed for a thunderstorm to form is lift, some sort of lift. And that lift can easily come from just the density of the air. When you think about the density of the air and it becomes really humid uh, in the area, just like Florida and just like in that region of the, of the country, then that warm, moist ocean, you already have that moisture, you already have that unstable air in that area, it's just waiting to be nudged so it can keep moving forward, and then here comes the density of the, of the, of the air and that humidity setting in, causing that warm, moist air to rise. There it is. Now a thunderstorm is getting ready to formulate. That's all you need. Three simple ingredients and you can have yourself a thunderstorm. Check it, now that we have the three ingredients that form a thunderstorm, we got our moisture, we got our unstable air, and then we got some sort of lifting action. It still hasn't formed yet. They're just coming together for it to form. Here are the three different stages that a thunderstorm goes through. The first stage of thunderstorms is the cumulus stage. The cumulus stage is simply everything is starting to form. Everything is building and growing up. When you walk outside and it's getting ready to be a thunderstorm, and you know what that feels like, you probably experienced this many times in your life, you can literally see those clouds in the sky forming and coming together. You can see it growing right before your eyes. Those dark clouds is getting very, very dark and heavy. This is letting you know that something is getting ready to happen and that is a cumulus cloud is getting ready to form. And most thing, important thing you wanna know about the cumulus cloud is it's updrafts that are happening in there. It's building up, it's taking in all of that moisture. Everything that we've talked about with that uplifting action and that unstable air, it's building it all up and upward kind of motion is happening for that. Updrafts only for the cumulus stage of a thunderstorm. The second stage of a thunderstorm is the mature stage and this is unequivocally the most dangerous stage of the thunderstorm. And it's dangerous for multiple reasons. As you can equate from the name mature, aviation is always gonna give you clues as to what that means. Obviously, it's in its mature state, it's more experienced, it's a lot more dynamic, a lot more going on in this stage. So with the cumulus stage, it was building, right? And all you had was the updrafts. That's it, it's building. Nothing is happening yet, it's just building. But now you're in a stage of the mature stage where now it's gonna be have those downdrafts, but here's the key. It still has the updrafts as well. So both things are happening at the same time. So once that buildup has happened and it's matured enough, now that rainfall and that downdraft is gonna to start to happen because that buildup is happening, but it's still at the same time, more upward action is happening simultaneously. 
So what it's doing is basically letting it, letting, letting everything go in addition to building up more all at the same time. That's why it's known as the mature stage. And this can be very dangerous because a lot of different things can happen. Not only can you get the violent winds and the hail and heavy rain and all kinds of things, it's still growing and it's still building. So think about what a hurricane is doing if it's in the middle of the ocean and it hasn't touched land yet and it's just growing and building and building and building while also having a downward pour at the same time and it's picking up more steam. That's exactly what's happening in a mature stage of a thunderstorm. One of the things that makes the mature stage of a thunderstorm very, very dangerous isn't just the fact that when you have that downdraft, so you got an updraft happening and downdraft happening, just like we talked about simultaneously, but what's coming down isn't just rain. Air is also coming down. Air comes down before the rain hits. So just think about a release of strong air in addition to rain. That air can be known as a microburst, and that can be very dangerous because you can't see it. All it is is just like a burst of air coming from that cloud and you can just be flying along and get into that if you're not paying attention. This is why it's highly recommended that you stay at least 20 nautical miles away from thunderstorms. You don't even wanna be anywhere around them because of things like this. You can get caught up in the anvil as well, which is kinda of like an overhanging cloud away from the big cloud as the wind starts to blow it over a little bit while it's forming and while it's in that mature stage, and that can cause all kinds of problems. Hail, violent winds, wind shear, turbulence, everything. So you don't even wanna be around this. If you can avoid it at all costs, if you possibly can for all, for your flight plan, simply because of these kinds of things, it doesn't just impact the cloud itself, all the surrounding areas. Again, back to that reference of like a hurricane. A hurricane can be hitting this part here, but the entire surrounding area can be completely obliterated and destroyed. That's exactly what you're dealing with right here. Something else to check for for the mature stage of a thunderstorm is thundering and lightning. Do you know how thundering and lightning is simply formed? It's formed in mature stage of a thunderstorm, but think about that updraft that we were talking about the mature stage half and the downdraft that's happening simultaneously. When you rub your things together like that, what it can cause? It can cause friction. So just think about friction happening in the air and that's friction that's happening in the air, that's what causes lightning. So whenever you see lightning, that's what's coming from. It's coming from the updraft and the downdraft rubbing together against each other and causing that friction, and it's causing the lightning. And when the lightning happens, when that friction is happening, that warm air is hitting into that cold air very rapidly. That's why it's always called this. It can be very dangerous to fly around as well, and you want to be aware of this and stay away from thunderstorms. The last and final stage of a thunderstorm is the dissipating stage, just what the name states. It's dissipating, baby. You can look at this as a cloud, and the cloud you can kind of see in the sky when it gets to this level, it's kind of like they caved in a little bit. And when that cave in, it's all downdrafts from here. So that updraft has stopped, that was in the mature stage, and now it's just all downdrafts from, from this point on out, and it's basically raining itself out. And the one thing you gotta be aware of here, it's gonna be low vis when you get down low to the surface and you're getting ready to land that thing simply because the clouds are in that thunderstorm is in the dissipating stage. These are the three stages of a thunderstorm. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and comment down below. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, the link to the flash trip is in the description. Big whoa, subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk about everything that you need to know for free to be a pilot, to stay current, to stay proficient, the community in itself, A, one time, Lego.